Sorry, you spies up there. My name is Spawn123, and welcome back to the Wildlife Adventures channel. Uh, this is gonna be an update video, obviously, not a searching video. You see the background with my door and, and stuff. So, um, obviously, not an adventure video. I'm just gonna update you guys on some things, right? Okay, first off, I'm gonna switch the camera real quick so you guys can see what I'm seeing, you know? Okay, do that. I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, guys, now you can see what I see, and as you can see, because I can see it, my room is still a mess. Um, I still gotta clean this place. I've been working on organizing and um, moving stuff around, so that caused me dirty. This mess right here is from the video on my main channel. Link will be in the description. I like it. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know if you guys will like it yet. I don't think it has any views, but this video... And that video won't be edited till tomorrow. So if you're watching this right now, like right after this is uploaded, the link's not going to be there. Not till tomorrow morning or after school tomorrow because I don't have enough time to do it now. It's night time and I have to go to bed soon. So as you can see right here, I still got my little uh, aquarium set up. Got our snails. But as you can see, the scarites, quadriceps, they're gone. And that's not because they disappeared or anything. I moved them over here. I have this tub here, which is um, has a bunch of stuff in there, stuff I don't need. So I just put it in there. I'm using this tub as a table. Okay, so right here I have the flash on so you guys can see better because before it wasn't that bright. This is where the Skyrite's quadriceps go. Um, so the grass in there is a little dead to say the least because. I get, the dirt's not deep enough, but I don't think it really matters since these guys live underground. Um, so, there's one right there. I don't think you actually saw them in the last video. But there's one right there. They're little predatory beetles. And that right there is a mealworm. Uh, I had to feed these guys something. They're predators. You know, so I'm thinking mealworms. Um... I don't know what happened to the other two mealworms I put in here, but I got three beetles. Um, yeah, there's another one. This is the bottom of the cage. Okay, but I got three beetles in there, um, and three mealworms with three beetles. They should eat them, but you know we're waiting to see what happens. And we got a new friend right here. I went to PetSmart. And we got ourselves some live mealworms. I'm going to start breeding these guys. Not as a pet, but more as um, a food source for my other guys. So in here, they don't like the light. But, you know, there's some drinking water off this cotton right here. It's almost empty. I got some food for them. There's, see, there's one already eating it. Let's see. Okay. So, yeah, they're just little worms. Um... You gotta wait for them to turn into beetles, and then the, the beetles lay eggs. But, yeah, they're cool. And I can feed them to my guys, so. It should, it might take a while for the beetles to come up, and then, after, and then it'll take a while again for the beetles to lay eggs, and then again for the mealworms to grow big enough for me to feed them. But, so, it'll, it'll take a while, but I'm not mad at it. We'll wait. Right, okay, so right here is just some supplies that I went and bought today. We have um, wheat bran for the mealworms. Because um, they'll eat, that's their bedding, they'll also be able to eat it. As you saw, there's some less in there because that's what I'm going to feed them. We got three big things of water because I don't like for my bugs. If you guys want to keep bugs, um,. I wouldn't suggest using like frit up like tap water as like from sinks because that's actually got a little bit of chlorine in it which will kill um which might kill your bugs if it's like wild it might kill it if it's from like a really like kind of it's like an exotic bug right it might kill it because like they're not used to tap water they're not used to chlorine in the water but ones that are found in more polluted areas they'll might be able to survive but it still might kill them uh, and I wouldn't even suggest using, like, water from your refrigerator. That is a little cleaner, but still has traces of, like, lead and chlorine and crap. So, you know, spring water 
is what I'm going to be using. Uh, or at least, you know, over here, at least you, like, get some tap water and put some of uh, uh, water conditioner in it, which will, um, like, get rid of the chlorine, lead, I like to solve that kind of stuff, right? So, at least do that. And uh, definitely don't use tap water in aquariums, right? Because I've had experience with that before because I was stupid. And I decided, okay, I'm going to have to clean out my aquarium. So I'm just going to stick my fish in a cup full of tap water. So I'm cleaning my aquarium. Look behind me. Fish are dead. Because it only takes like a few seconds to kill the fish. So... Now a little update, our dragonfly nymph is doing good, he's definitely gotten bigger, I don't know when he's going to turn into a dragonfly, I'm waiting, hopefully not that soon, because I still have to clean out this right here, and put him in there, there's a fish in there, there's two of them, so those two fish are doing good, snail's doing good, clam's doing good, everything's doing good, water plants, I wasn't, this water plant right here, I wasn't sure, oh, Dropped it. But I wasn't sure if this was growing properly. I thought it was dead for a while. But no, it's definitely growing. So the farm, water plant farm, is definitely working. Uh, this one, I've knew, known this one's growing. This one grows really well. Our snails, um, I don't know when I got these other ones. I think it might have been in the last video. But maybe not. But yeah, if, if it wasn't, I got a bunch of new snails. Big ones, too. Look at them. Um, but they're doing great. I should probably switch out that lettuce. And I need to clean their cage because there's a lot of poop in there. That's not good. The pupa still hasn't... Whatever's in there hasn't come out yet. Um, thankfully, because I don't... That's not a good cage. If it comes out and turns out to be the fly like I thought it was, it's going to be buzzing around my room and I, I don't want that. Um, yeah, what else do I need to check? I haven't messed with any of this stuff yet. I'm going to probably do that tomorrow, if not Friday, right? So, but Saturday will be an adventure video. Uh, I've already got it kind of planned out for you guys. But, yeah, so. Okay, let's check on our springtails. <sighs> it's getting kind of dry in there. Um, you can see them walking around, those little white things. Now, I actually, we are o ordering a spring springtail culture, because springtails are actually really helpful for the different bug cages. They'll eat fungus, mold, algae, moss, etc. Like I, I explained in my other video. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna, it's getting a little dry, I'm just gonna give my, all my guys some water. Just, I spray this, like, sp spray it once a day for the snails, maybe twice a day, unless it's, like, it's usually really moist in there because I spray it so much, so sometimes I'll, like, not spray it. These guys, you know, they don't really require as much moisture, but the, their cage dries up really fast, so I actually find me spraying their cage the most because it dries up super fast. So, yeah, and these mealworms with more water, so I'm just going to go through and spray all the cages. <sighs> okay, so that's, that's a damp. So, I mean, this should last for like a few months before I have to clean out the cage add more wheat bran and stuff so that should be good um yeah it's got to spray snails man these snails look at them this is the first one I got I think I believe maybe not um but yeah they're, they're in there Alright, look at them. There's a bunch on the side right here. Um, also, my brother's roly-poly's in there somewhere. 
And this cage is not looking good. I definitely have to clean it out at some point. We'll put more springtails in there. Because they should do the job. Okay. Moisten it up in there. Snails require a lot of moisture. But who doesn't know that? So, okay. Let's go through what we did again. You know, we got... What are they called? Crap. Oh, what they call the freaking worms, worms, whatever, whatever worm, mealworms. Yeah, mealworms. I don't know why I forgot. Um, scarites, which you didn't see in the last video, even though I put it as a thumbnail. But scarites are doing good. Uh, they haven't. I don't know if they've eaten some of the mealworms in there yet. Wor uh, snails are doing amazing. They're they're perfect, right? The aquarium is doing nicely. Uh, we have seen some loss of some like dragonfly nymphs. And like castfly larvae and stuff, but that's just due to the dragonfly and damselfly larvae because they'll eat each other. So it it kind of sucks if I want to have all these as pets, but if you know I don't want to put food in there twenty four seven, which would be hard to do because I ain't going out buying fish every single day. Um, springtails are doing great. I mean I don't even have to. I I one time I I haven't like you know. I thought everything was dead in here, so I hadn't watered it in for like weeks, uh, a few weeks ago. And I come to check on it, it's completely dry, and these springtails are th were thriving, along with uh, one or two snails, which I moved into here. Um, the ones I moved in there, like I can definitely show you which ones I moved in there, because they look so different from the rest. But it's these spiral ones, not these these big ones, but the this spiral one right here. Yeah, him. Uh, and there should be another one in there that's really small. But he's like one of the circular ones. Move him in there. Uh, so basically, what I have to do, which you might see a Saturday, probably not because it's going to be an adventure video. But this needs to be cleaned out. I don't even know what I had in there. I don't think I had anything in there. This needs to clean, be cleaned out. This needs to be cleaned out. I'm going to work on that. That's going to be for grasshoppers. Basically, this whole area needs to be cleaned out. Um, this too. I'm going to try to get a pseudoscorpion in here. It's small enough. Pseudoscorpions are really small, so it shouldn't really matter. I'll try to get this cleaned out and try to move the springtails out of there into some other smaller cage. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot these guys right here. Um, no, focus. These little tiny bugs. Um, I don't know what they are. Tried to research, I couldn't find anything. So if you guys know what these things are, they're not beetles, they're little true bugs. And they have a weird mark. Focus, camera. Focus! Ah, okay, it's not focusing. They got a weird mark on their belly. It's red. It's like a crescent shaped. I don't know what these guys are. I don't know what they eat. I don't have them in an enclosure for them because I don't know anything about them. So I found them in a group on a bicycle tire. But I have absolutely no idea what they are. So if you guys could tell me what these are, uh, that'd be great. But I'm going to keep doing my research on them. And if I can't take care of them, I'll let them go find out what they are and what they eat and I can't take care of them probably keep them get a cage for them but I don't I don't know what they are um hope they're not harmful uh hope they're not releasing like toxic gases in my room okay but you know yeah guys that's gonna be the end of this video I'm gonna try to clean up my room and you know fix up some more of these cages this week maybe Friday I have things to do Friday, but I have things to do tomorrow too. I've basically been really busy this week, and I will be for the rest of this week. Saturday, I have something to do then too, but I can make a, one of these videos then. So, yeah. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.